Normal naman yun sa family. Sige nga, can you share nga? Ano, <laughs> ano yung specific oh, na yun? That's my exit, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, good way to exit. No, but again, you said, yeah, that's right. It's normal for, for us parents to have yung, yung ganyan, tambuan. Okay, but let's say in your case, was it a deep, deep issue or mababaw lang yung tampuhan or pinagtampuhan? Uh, have we had deep issues? Parang, there were some issues that when we don't see eye to eye, di ba? Nagtatampuhan. Pero in the, at the end of the day, we know that we still have each other's backs and you know, yes. we're family. Despite um, who's wrong, you know, if it's Kaneba or Shaba, like despite the differences, we know that we're family and that we will accept each other. Gano'n katagal din tampuhan tumatagal? Depende. The longest that you remember. Okay. No, but, but it can last like a week, the ba? Yeah, yeah, or two weeks. But in the end, yeah. you simply go back to normal as if nothing happened. Yeah. That's the way you handle yeah. it. Okay. I know you're, you're, you're pretty close and, and the way that she was protective of you, okay? Which you have expressed, you appreciate about your, your ate. But I'll ask you a question now. You, you quit collegiate uh, volleyball, mm -hmm. right? Did you discuss that with her, ask her for, for advice on, before you made that decision? I guess I did, but every time I ask people for advice, um, people who were around my circle, you know, people who are fellow athletes or other teammates, every time I, I talk to them about this, these things, my issues, they always say the same thing. Huwag ka mag-quit, sayang. I, I hear that all the time, but um, them kasi, they're coming from a mindset of like, oh, ball is life forever. You know, and that's how athletes are, talaga. It's like, especially the types of friends, friend athletes that I have who are just like me before, like so into the sport in another level. Like, we're the types who are playing collegiate, super like intensely, and then we're gonna go professional after. So these are my types of friends. Mm. So they don't give me advice, you know, that's saying like, yeah, do what you want to do, be free. They always say, don't quit. Hey, ito, ano yung advice eh? Well, her naman, she's my sister, so she'll always just say, uh, do what makes you happy. And at the time of me departing from sports, amateur sports, it was just me going through a lot of things, emotionally, mentally, even physically. So I knew that I think this is my time. This is my moment and I've been playing for so many years and I think I want to try different burned things. Burned out, Kevin, huh? You felt burned out? I felt, I did feel burned out and at the same time, it it was just hard for me. It was like, um, me going to practice was just me being there and thinking I don't want to be here when I didn't have that kind of time, time mental, to mental thinking that I used to have. Before I would be like, no matter how exhausted, I'm like, I want to be here. But then I started thinking about different things. So that's when I knew it was my time to go. Teresa, so lang ulam pita ka iba yan sa trabaho. Pag nagtrabaho ka, pagpasok mo sa opisina, ang tagal ng break. Pagkatas ng break, ang tagal ng alasin ko. Yeah. Time to quit yan. <laughs> Umabot ka sa ganung point sa collegiate volleyball. Um, okay? I did, yeah, but yeah, it was, eh. it it was, was enjoyable. Weird. It was weird because I reached that point and then I had like cases where I was like, wait, Pyram, I still want to play. And then I played with, I had a short stint in a pro team, then I played again and then I didn't play now a lot. So it just goes like back and forth. So it, it just, I guess now I can say I'm definitely retired playing sports like ah, so it, it's a final thing yeah you're moving to another direction already. yes for i really am now but which is which is i guess really embarking more on my corporate life but you know sports will always be there and i guess if magkakaayaan maglaro with like uh you know 11 other girls and I can be the 12th girl then we'll just play volleyball. Okay, pero six ano na yan? Or... Recreational na yan. Yeah. Hindi like, na yan yung competitive. Yeah, I think Ito I... si Pauline nandun pa sa ganun level. Because she's like her her drive is different from mine. Because I'm the type 
that always wants to explore more on myself. So I'm not afraid to embark on different journeys. But her her type is she's a driven type. So when she's set on something, she's Batayo mo siya sundan. Total sumusunod ka na rin lang. No, no, because uh, we reached this point in our life where I was like I realized, oh, okay, she's making her own decisions now. I guess my job here is done. And she that's when I realized I saw in her that she knows who she is and I had I did a sound job in trying to fix her up and set her up into being a, a person that she might want to be and that she became all together but then she knows already who she is at that part you know my but do you person. still ask her advice she's like my second mom <laughs> <laughs> all the time she always asks me like all the time should i wear this should i wear that everything should i eat this should i not eat that and then if i'm at work it's the same thing she'll text me <laughs> i get so <laughs> sad when she leaves for work <laughs> Dito, ako naman, ma-share ko lang. Yeah. Parang baliktad naman kami, ay mm. nakaka-relate ako sa kanya. Kasi nga, siya naman, uh, you're going to corporate. Ako naman, I've been to pharmaceutical industry for 10 years mm-hmm. as a medical representative. So, wow. Pero ngayon, nandito ako sa sports kasi nakilala ko si Tito. Bagay yung passion ko, yung drive ko talaga with, with, well, when it comes to sports. Talagang, kaya nga doon sa ating mga ka-subscribers dyan, that looking beyond sa mga life ng mga athletes na ini-interview natin dito. I'm so blessed with Tito na talagang na-meet yung father ninyo at ako talaga, sobra ako talaga. Talaga, sobrang fun kami ng ato yun yun. Thanks, OPM! Yes! Let's go! <laughs> okay, so kay, kay Pauline tayo. Uh, si ate mo ay eto na karil ko. Right? Set ka na sa direction. How far you'll go, we don't know yet. Okay, but you have a pretty good sense of direction already. Nakaset ka. In your case, you're still playing competitive volleyball. Okay? Yeah. So, is that as of now, yung paren? You're you're not at the point that you're already looking ahead, uh, trying to well, in a sense, follow your your atena. Who after volleyball, what, what do I do? Asang ka nang ayon. Um, now I'm at this point where I am still going to maximize my capabilities because I have an opportunity which is to keep playing and I'm gonna grab it. Okay. So, hanggat kaya ko pa, di ba? Hanggat kaya ng katawan ko kasi syempre our bodies will have, you know, we're getting older, you know, we'll have limitations. So, with this one, I'm gonna keep doing this for how long? I mean, until I can because I still have passion. Mm. And I still have love for this. But then um, I'm really preparing like a backup plan, you know, like what happens if I get injured? What happens if I can no longer play? So I am already looking at things um, in that direction. Because maybe of this COVID, parang na realize ko na, diba, sports stopped. So, like, what Gan- am I going to do? Like, bago buhay. Yeah, like, I wasn't able to finish my UAAP. That I prepared one year for. It's it's something that opened Pero my eyes. Ka ng one, one? Two games lang. Okay. Uh, no, I mean championship. Yeah, yes, naka championship ako. Si Ate ikaw, dalawa. dalawa. No, just one. Sa isa ka lang. In collegiate, but then we had. In oh yeah, high we also had high school. Nagabut ka yun ni. Yeah. Alisa. Yes. Hila. Last my... year ba ni Alisa yan papasok na magkaya? Actually, in my second to the last years, she was with me because. When I came in, yeah, season 77, I think, that's when we won 60 That was her fifth year. Okay. And then um, she got to still play another year, season 78. Because she sat out her first year. So yeah. But how many years did you Season 78. One season long. Yeah, yeah, one season long. But you have a one championship. Ka na rin. Season 81. With Coach Oliver okay. Almadra na. Iba na yung coach. First okay. year niya sa Ateneo, women's. Okay. But he was with the men. Sa kanya, wala na siyang dream sa volleyball. Parang, okay, I had my my time with, with volleyball. I need mm-hmm. to look at other things in life now for mm-hmm. the future. In your case, hindi pa tapos ang volleyball life mo. What is left for you in volleyball? What are you looking forward to sa volleyball? You've won a, a championship already. So, what else is left? Um, I would want to win more championships and um, 
see how far I can go. I mean, I don't necessarily. I mean, I have dreams of like maybe joining the Philippine team, de ba? But if that doesn't work out, then it's it's okay. But what I really want to do with like my volleyball career is really just stretch it out because I might um, look back and then regret not playing professional. You know, because there are many opportunities that come with that. I mean, maybe I'll get better and improve, and then maybe I can represent the country, de ba? Or Maybe I can try another sport, de ba? On the side, because there are other things that I'm interested in. So in terms of sports, it's something that maybe sa tatlo. I mean, me, and my sisters. It was easy for me. It was very natural. They would always say na natural ako sa sports. So um, sports is my passion. Okay. Until my and body can now, take it, I'll do it. pa yung passion. Yeah. Yun ang nawala kay kay Teresa. May telltale signs naman yan. Once yeah. you start growing tired of of something, you will mm-hmm. you will know it. Yes. Right? Malalaman niya, mararamdaman mo yan. Sa kanya hindi pa niya inaabot yung ganun sa volleyball. No. And doon pa yung same passion niya, okay? And I guess being part of the national team, personally, I would look forward to seeing you play in the national team. For fall sports now, I don't go to the PBA. I watch women's volleyball in person. Right? Na, na, na shift na ako, ayoko na ng basketball. Right? Yeah. Sawa na ako. Right? At magaganda, mas magaganda ang nakikita ko sa volleyball kaysa sa basketball. Okay, let's talk about being a beauty typist. Because I remember when, when I interviewed the two of you the first time, when we went uh, to, to UE, uh, si Duday, your, your mom told me, your dream and I think you also mentioned it was to become Miss Universe. That's correct. Wow. I mean, that's Kaya pa! <laughs> Kaya pa! Uh, you were Miss UST. High school. High school. Yeah. Tapos sa college ba? Uh, did you join any? Um, I did not because um, my parents really wanted me to focus on just my academics or sports at the time. So they were like, okay, no pageants. You can do pageants after college so no miss barangay nothing no budget at okay all. now is that still part of your dream um y- yes i it, i think it's still possible there's a possibility it's just that um prime. Uh, prime of my years you know i was just hit with covid i mean not hit with covid sorry um we the hit situation. the covid year yeah so it just makes things harder for people. I think a lot of the youth, they feel like their dreams are not gone forever, but they're delayed. So I guess that's it. And so, nandung pa rin. If, yes, if ever it's I It's just choose. that the conditions are not yes. ideal to pursue that dream. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's, okay. I always think in myself, um, I'm very young. I'm still young. I'm 24. And if I decide to do it next year, then I'll do it next year. If I decide to do it at 25, 26, or even 27, then that's mm. fine. Also. What's the age limit? They extended it. So it's, you can compete for Miss Universe until about 27. Yeah. I think she, knows. she knows that, you see? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she got time! Y'all better wait! And I don't like to pressure myself in terms of uh, accomplishing really my goals. No, because if tomorrow I decide I don't want to do it, then I don't. But to, but tomorrow if I decide I'm gonna do it one thousand percent, commit to it, then I'm gonna do it one thousand percent. So yeah, because I don't really like the pressure. Like I guess pressure's bad for me. I just oh, the pressure. Yeah, it's, yeah. It will always result in stress, and tre- stress is is a killer. Okay, in your case, being a beauty tightlist was that something that. Was in your mind Again, also? it was Kasi just ka exactly. Kaya. It was just that, like, oh, Pongs, you join para I pass the crown to you, and that's okay. Take note, this is something they don't do in that pageant. She just, I'll do it. Like, it's supposed to be given by the the teacher, or you know, it's like whoever's holding the crown. She's like, no, I want to walk 
and pass it to my sister. Kami lang yung gumano. Hindi ko alam kasi hindi anong, ko anong title hindi, hindi ko siya ginawa eh nung no? UST High School. Miss UST rin. I didn't do it to the next girl. I didn't pass the crown to someone else. Well, you're not Teresa. Exactly, like my sister and she wanted was to not do that. your sister. Yeah, exactly. No, see? That's why you did different. Yeah. So, he, hindi siya pangarap. It's more of being influenced by your sister. Yes. What is your dream? My your dream? Your own dream. Um, Aside from sports, pinag-usapan natin yung kanina. Outside of sports, 20 years from now, I don't think you'll be able to play volleyball at 43. Okay? That means you'll be in a different world already. What are you looking at? Um, well, there are many things that I want to do, you know, but definitely not not Miss Universe type. That's out. Like, that's not for me, you know, like, it's some, it, you know, if it calls to you, like, the like how it's calls to my sister, na, you know, that's more suited for her. Okay. It's more of like what she's dreamt of since she was a kid in that sense. It's not something that I was always like, oh, I want to do that. Because I was really, you know, like, ah, sige, I'll just join pageants then because Ate wants to do that. So what do you want to do? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Aba, I want to do a lot Aba, of things. I know, Pauline, yeah. Eh, no? Bottom na. Hindi ko pa alam. <laughs> we'll see. Well, you're still young. 20 days. Still have a, a good lifetime ahead of you. Okay? Yeah. Uh, your dad is a coach. So... Do you see yourself in the future na mag coach ka rin ng isang volleyball team? Um, I actually, yeah, I can see myself doing that because I find joy in teaching and I really find joy in like, you know, helping others. So, siguro ayan, kung itatanong mo ako, ano yung pangarap ko? May, sabihin ko pa sa Tagalog para malalim. Ang pangarap ko ay makagawa ng kabubuti para sa ibang tao. Yan ang tunay na pangarap niya. Boom! Kasi medyo mababa kung sabihin ko kaligayahan yung pangarap ko kasi lagi naman ako masaya. So yan yung pangarap ko ay makagawa ng pagbabago at mabuti para but, sa ibang but, tao. But, That's why I wanted to be a teacher before. Until na, actually, until now. So I'm on the side, I'm doing teaching. That's why I told you I have plans, right? Like, I have a backup plan. Because Pero, of this COVID-19. Sa, sa daigdig yan, pag nag-teacher ka o nag-nurse ka, it simply means you love others more than you love yourself. Because there's no career in being a teacher yeah. or being... Okay, mabubuhay ka. Okay? But that's it. If you're looking at quality life, medyo <laughs> i-struggle ka niyan. Okay? So... But being able to do good for others, it's the unquantifiable effect on you. Priceless yung feeling. It's priceless. Feeling. Yeah. Okay, ito yung tanong ko sa inyo. Ano yung ano, realizations ninyo during this pandemic? I'll share mine. Ang realization ko, one of the biggest is, mahirap puminom ng tubig pag naka-face mask ka. Ay, mahirap. true. Lalo na kung may stroke. Ito tusok mo dun sa mas mahirap pa lang. Ikaw ano? Biggest real, one of the big realizations. Wow, yun yung biggest realization mo tito. Oh, Marami. Oh, Marami. 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 I can go there. I, I, I need to treasure to appreciate the now. Y yung maglakad lang ako sa subdivision, walk 2-3 kilometers. I look forward to it already. Mm -hmm. Because, di, di ba, wala, ano, wala yung options eh. Yun yung mm -hmm. siguro yung realization. Biro lang naman yung ano. So, although, mahirap talagang uminom. Pag naka-face mask. Mm -hmm. Tama. Okay, so ikaw, anong biggest realization? I think the biggest realization, the biggest realization that I got from this pandemic is that now is the perfect time to get braces kasi hindi siya may kita. Lagi kang nakamask. So, sakto yung timing ko. Aha! Joke lang. Okay, ah, sige. Pero, ano yung... if we're gonna go deeper, okay. um, siguro my biggest realization is to see how grateful 
like to see the things that you can be grateful for like for me despite the covid like i have a house you know i have yeah. um a team i you was able family. to find a job i have a family exactly i have resources you know i'm safe uh, when I saw what was happening with the frontliners and you know the yeah. people who can't afford medical supplies, na parang wow, I'm so grateful. Yeah. Now we shouldn't spend our days complaining about what we don't have, and just when you look at the things that you have, you then you'll see life in a different angle. Na even if you're left with nothing, but you still have something. Let's say the people who really have nothing, if they are able to look at their life in a grateful way and like appreciate appreciative matter then you can conquer anything because there are things na maybe they're hard for you but if you see it in a positive light na, oh, there's still something I can look forward to or be grateful for then you can move on the darkness you know the okay. she just validated the observation niya na nag nanood daw siya na nag zoom kayo with your teammates mm-hmm. mo? I mean, during this pandemic, I think. Mm-hmm. It's the vlog. Kim? Yes. Ah, yeah, Kim's vlog. Alam mo, yeah. alam mo na po na niya. So, when did it? Yun, you ikaw daw yung pinakamalagi. Wow. Which you just validated. I like deep conversations. Which you just validated. <laughs> Sa'yo, anong biggest realization? Um, siguro, Tito, it's just about the same thing. It's really about being grateful. No, because that's really my answer. Like even when you said it in Tito, it's the same thing. It's just because the pandemic um, really changed our life completely. 360. Yeah. Um, made you know we couldn't do the things we used to want to do. So now took it for granted. That yes. Thing. So Don't now for we. I don't want to take things for granted anymore. All the little things that I used to take for granted. Now, um, after post-pandemic, when life goes back to normal, or, you know, we have a um, new normal life or whatever, I won't, I'll be appreciative of the things that I have, the people that I can be around at that time. Yeah. But. And I read, I read this story about an Italian, an old man, who was a victim of COVID, in hospital shot. And he had to use this ventilator to be able to to breathe. Okay, he got well. This is a true, true, and uh, a true story. He was given the bill for the hospital. And it was pretty huge. This was at the start. Eh, na hindi pa nila ganon kaalam kung ano yung magandang treatment or possible treatment. So naiyak daw yung matandang lalaki. At akala ng sa hospital naiyak siya kasi ang laki ng bill niya. Paliwanag ng Italiano, hindi kaya ako naiiyak. Dati, nakakahinga ako ng libreng hangin. Ngayon, I have to pay 7,000 euros just to be able to do something that yeah. I was taking for granted before. Yeah. I- yan yung mga gusto kong nababasa na it strikes a chord in your heart. Yes. Na, oh nga, tama nga siya. Diba? So, I like it. I like the way we, we did the chat. Okay? It was, it was free flowing. It was, walang, wala naman kayong katanungan na hindi sinagot. Okay? And it was, I think it was more fun than anything else. Okay? So, again, we met our lovely sister, ma, the daughters of my good friend, Athens, please. Beauty, brains, and athleticism. Oh, pinagsama-sama. <laughs> Misa unfair, Misa unfair si Lord eh. No? <laughs> Bakit binigay sa inyo lahat eh? Blessed! Okay. Stay blessed! Hindi naman sila kinabahan doon sa swab test natin. Siguro ikaw na lang, hindi ka pa na sa swab test eh. Na swab test. Okay, so coming in here, sinadya mo ba talaga mag-wear ng blue and white? Uh, ano yan? Optics. <laughs> Dito, OBF ka. Dapat OBF ka, one big five. You up? I would go more for Ateneo. Yes. Oh. yes! 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 What the fight? You are always welcome here, Tito. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, any final words from our two lovely ladies? Therese. Um, thank you so much. Hi, thank you so much for having me.
having us or you know or or giving us the platform and the opportunity to be Thank your you. final message yeah. to the youth out there. Yes. Um, keep dreaming wow. because your dreams are what will keep you alive and <laughs> what will um, make you happy when you wake up in the morning. That's what I know. Until now, I'm still dreaming and I'm still waking up and um, thinking about my dreams every day and pursuing them. Because you're not too young to dream, yes. that's all I can say. And just go for it with all your heart. There, Whether it's being a beauty queen or getting into sports, if you know you're young and you're scared to try out for the team because you're scared that you suck at sports or whatever, just do it. You never know what will happen. And always work <coughs> hard. Work hard for what you want to achieve. And whether it's arts, Sports, academics. Yeah, that's my final message. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Uh, final words. Um, well, since she said it all, um, <laughs> I'll just say that do what you love and love what you do. Yeah. And to always have fun. You know? Do something you love because um, what's the point of doing something that you're not passionate about or you know, doing something that you don't enjoy? But don't force yourself into something that you know is not um, making you become a better person. So always do things that are going to be good for your growth, personal growth, you know, and things that you know um, really bring joy into your life. Yeah. Thank you guys. And if you're watching, don't forget to subscribe okay. to um, our YouTube channel, which is uh, Swab. Yes. The first Yes. And Don't forget to hit that like button and to... <laughs> <laughs>